Well, we're standing in the warehouse right side, outside of First Aid at Central Services Gracie, and here are the brand new computers sitting on pallets waiting for us to process them. They come in on the trucks, we double stack them, get them ready to get them inside the air conditioned space for us so we can get going. The amount of cardboard we're generating is amazing. Even though these computers are packed with a less than cardboard, we're making a lot. We get it out here and this is one of the other, even though this is a technology project, pretty much every department is contributing. Uh, for example, one thing Operations has done is they've assigned a custodian to us for the summer just to keep the cardboard broken down, to keep the trash out of our way so we can focus on getting the computers ready. And the good news is we're recycling every pound of cardboard we generate. Uh, By County has placed a 30 yard dumpster out there that we have filled up six times already this summer. Every bit of cardboard is getting recycled, reducing the impact of this project. This is where they're broken out. Three things happen. We assign a name, we assign an inventory barcode, and it's all tied together in a tracking system one of our programmers created to help the inventory control process and make sure it works. And I'd also like to pull in Robert Ontiveros, who's actually running this portion of the project, running the new, the new stuff, making sure that everything runs nice. smoothly. Well done, sir. We've been tracking the numbers since toward the end of July. We did a few in uh, June, but most, and you can see, as of yesterday afternoon, we had unboxed over 10,000 computers and imaged almost as many. We've got enough imaging capacity that we can essentially image and load the software on four mobile labs simultaneously. We've got all the tables running, individuals working on them, and this is this actually the second part of the process. Once they're imaged, uh, these computers are up where they can be named, but one of our programmers has also created an application that runs a check. So as soon as these computers are completely loaded, they run, and the first thing that happens is it checks the name and assigns a printer based on the name and also our communications department, one of the other departments who's contributed to this project, created individual backgrounds for each and every school. So that's one of the custom elements that gets added in during the imaging process. And a final check is the, the serial number, the name of the computer, and the inventory barcode are checked against the database from the original scan to make sure everything is correct. We also keep track of the numbers hourly just to make sure we are on target to uh, finish in time by the first full day of school. These are the totals and we also have the amount we ran during the hour. Obviously it's a little lighter during lunch, but averaged out over eight hours we've been averaging around 150 computers an hour completed. Imaging all these computers takes a lot of data and to give you an idea of just how much, here's a couple of our systems administrators. Joe and Preston actually helped along with Neil to design the network in here that has helped us to push more data and image more computers in less time than we ever have before. Um, and they can give you an idea of just how much data we're pushing through the network in this room. Yeah, yeah. We're, um, the server itself has 240 gig connections into the top of rack switch. From there, we drop it to switches under each one of these tables at 10 gig. What we're pushing here right now, as you watch as these images, this will drop up to about 30 to 40 gigabits per second is what we're pushing to each one of the machines. So we're literally hitting the physical max of all these machines. Um, I'm put that into uh, Retrospector. It's like equivalent to downloading 50,000 high definition Blu-ray movies down to a machine. Yeah. So it's a lot of data. In a second. <laughs> In a second. <laughs> so ridiculously fast. Even though this is a technology project, so many other departments are contributing to this monumental effort to get this ready before the begin of school. Uh, everyone from business affairs, operations, even childhood nutrition has had a role to play in making sure that this project is successful. In this area, they're actually wiring up both the old carts that house computers and the brand new carts that can hold an entire lab in one cart. Uh, this is actually one of the most time consuming part of the process just to make sure that all the individual power cables are in the right place, in the right cart, ready to accept the labs. Because as soon as the computers come off the imaging tables, we get them slotted into carts. And one thing we're doing new this year to make sure we don't lose anything, we're actually labeling the power adapters so that there's never any doubt which power adapter goes with which laptop. And once the computers are in their cart and ready, they're actually staged in this area for the final check before they're delivered to the school. We have someone actually go through each cart, 
make sure that all the computers are labeled, that they have a power adapter that they're in, and we scan them one last time. Every part of the process, we scan the inventory label, and it's past that checkpoint. So in the beginning, it's labeled as unboxed. The imaging process says it's imaged. And the final one before it goes to the school is ready for delivery. Once it's ready for delivery, we lock the cart. The person who checked the cart signs off on it. And then our delivery team comes in when they're ready. They pull an entire school, load it on the truck, and take it to the school where the final scan is performed that it's been delivered to the school. So we can always check every individual computer through this entire process, nearly 20,000 computers at the end of it. We can show every single step, every single moment where they were at what time.